okay, this is your boy Mark. If you need a little bit more of RGB LED lights in your life, I might have a solution right here from a company called Olifus, all right? So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Yo, Skippy, roll that intro. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy Mark for Loose Cruise Reviews, back to get another video. But you know how we do. Before we get started, let's get all that business and politics out of the way. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go ahead and subscribe, subscribe. All right, now that we got all that business and politics out of the way, let's get to the video. Okay, YouTube, this is your boy Mark, back to get another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some RGB floodlights from a company called Olifus, all right? All right, before we get started though, let's get a couple things out of the way. One, I'm not an expert. Two, I'm just a guy who loves checking gadgets. And three, I just like showcasing new products I get right here on the channel, all right? All right, while well, you at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Helps the channel. All right, now let's get back to business. All right, these are some uh, 30 watt RGB floodlights from a company called Olifus, all right? Now, they are Bluetooth control, not, uh, not Wi-Fi control, so, you know, you, you got to control them with your app, with your cell phone. You, there's no remote control or you can't control them with your smart device. You can only uh, control these with the app on your phone. So you have to download uh, the Firelight app in order to control these. All right. So basically they are 30 watt RGB floodlights. So you can put them outside. Uh, let's see here. What's on, on here? Uh, input voltage, 100 to 120 volt on here. Uh, color RGB uh, between uh, 2700 and 6500 Kelvin and let's see what else on here That's about it on here because really nothing else on the box. It's just you know Floodlights RGB floodlights, all right? All right, so what we're gonna do So you get back. I don't know if you can see that on the back some information on the back right there You can pause that and read it for yourself All right, but uh, there's a little name on there. What we're gonna do is uh, oh, wait a minute What's this on the side? Got some little stuff on the side. You can pause this and read it for yourself. All right, basically telling you about the light and all that good stuff. Well, uh, IPX or oh, IPS IPS 66, so it's waterproof. All right, Beam Mango 120. All right, well I guess it was some stuff on there. But uh, let's go ahead and take this bad boy over to the unboxing table and see what we got in the box. Yo, Skippy, switch over. All right. Now that we got these uh, floodlights on the table, let's go ahead and uh, open up this box. All right. Well, it says that it's a two pack, so it's a two pack of them. Nothing else on here. So this information right here, you can pause this, read it for yourself. Here's more information back here. You can pause this, read it for yourself. All right. Let's get these bad boys out of the box and see what we got. All right. Got your instruction booklet. You definitely want to hang on to that. Let's see what we got here. Uh, all right, let's toss this box to the side. Let's see what we got here. We got one light, some cardboard protecting the two. Toss that to the side, and we got the second light. Okay, okay. They got some. They got a little weight to them, you know. All right, these are the 30 watts. You see right here, IP66 rated. So it's supposed to be waterproof, but uh, you know the the uh, cord, you know the plug is not waterproof. So you want to keep that in a dry place. But uh, yeah, all right. Got your little uh, twisties on here. This is where how you would twist it around. Little handle. I'm not sure what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna put them on yet, but I think I'm gonna use these for the gaming setup, or maybe the studio setup. I'm not sure. Got this is a uh, it feels like mm, plastic and metal. So I'm thinking it might be just hard plastic. Let me see one way I can tell. Yeah, this is plastic. This is not metal because this has a magnet in it. So no, this is hard plastic. Got it. Yeah. This is metal. See? There you go. That's hard plastic. Okay, so, you know, should be durable. All right. Let's see how long this cord is. You need to have a long cord, especially if you're gonna put them outside or if, you know, if, even if you put them in the studio. All right. Oh man, this cord is too short. 
I want to say this is like maybe two, maybe three feet. Uh, we'll need an extension cord for these bad boys. But, you know, you got places right here where, uh, on the bracket where you can mount them somewhere. So you can mount them on the wall or mount them on the tripod or etc. etc. Let's take a look at the other one. Same as the other one. Got your little 30 wide and you know it's a uh, waterproof IP66. Alright. Same thing. Moves around with your bracket. Alright. Nice hefty cord though. It's, the cord is real heavy duty so that's a good thing. Alright. Little waterproof thing right here. So when the water get in there. Alright. Alright. Nothing fancy. Let's go ahead and uh, go back over to the desk and hook them up and see how they work. Alright. So Skippy, take us to the desk. Okay, we're back at the desk. Now we got everything out of the box. Now it's time to go ahead and uh, connect them, the lights, the floodlights to the smartphone, download the app, and go ahead and set it up. All right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, what you want to do now is go ahead and plug up your light. I'm just using one of them right now. And then you want to go to your phone, download the uh, Firelight app. And uh, as you see, I already got it downloaded. Press open, then it'll take you to this screen right here. All right, and it's showing you the different, you know, the color wheel and all that good stuff. You want to click on the three lines at the top left and click my device. Bam, as long as it's got power to it, it should already pick it up. Because once, uh, once it's connected, you'll see that it's like it's got the chain together. If I want to disconnect it, bam, as you see, the uh, it looks like the chain is dis uh, broken. So we'll connect it back. All right, bam, it's connected back. Now all we have to do is uh, go over here and play around with it. Just uh, push the power, bam. And this thing is bright, this thing is bright. All right, you have different modes on here. You can put it to music mode, which is basically playing music that's downloaded off your phone. Or you can go to different styles, pulsating. Let me turn the, uh, let me see, well, I'm not going to turn the brightness down yet. As you see here, you got pulsating rainbow and all that good stuff. Well, I'm going to show you those in a, in a minute. But well, you, you see you got different uh, ones on here you can choose from. And then you can go back to your solid colors and change it different way, however you want to change it. And then you have your, the tape mode is music mode, so it's, it's listening to my voice. And then, and then uh, let's take it off of there, put it back to adjust. And here is the timing, so you can uh, it say select device. That's the device I want to set a timer for, and you can either set uh, a timer for you know the, it tells you how many days or what have what have you set it to whatever you want to set it to. Bam! So I'm gonna click out of here. I'm not gonna set a timer right now, and you're good to go. I mean, too easy, too simple. And let's see, we're in the settings. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Uh, it has this uh, this uh, feature on there called Shake. Now, I have never seen this before, and I'm not sure what the full power means, but the shake is crazy like you know once you get it you click that shake and you shake your phone it go it should shake to different colors but I'm gonna show you that a little bit uh, in a later over at the desk all right so I just wanted to let you see how you uh how you connect it real quick all right all right all right now that we got them connected to the, the app and we can go ahead now and start controlling with our phone all right so you can either like connect, you know, you can either uh, control one at a time or you can control both. Right now I'm going to do uh, both, all right? So let's go ahead and hit the power on here. Man, these things are bright. And this is on, this is not on, that's not, uh, that, that wasn't 100%. This is probably about 25%. This is 100%. Wow. And this is about 25%. Let's keep it for now. Let's keep it at about that 25 percent all right so you got different uh colors you got the color wheel I'm messing with the color wheel you change your different colors now, i know the camera is not going to do it any adjusted but trust me uh it has different colors on here you see I'm, I'm turning the color wheel right here now let's go ahead and set it on some of these uh let's go check out some of the modes on here and that would be style 
It's, uh, it's on Jumping Rainbow. That's what this style is called. And I can adjust the speed to have it go flat, the Jumping Rainbow to go faster, or if I want to go be a little bit smoother, like a, like a breathing, so it just go real smooth. All right, then we have the flashing, the flashing white. Like I said, you can control the speed, or you can go ahead and cut it back down. All right, don't want nobody you know seizures and nothing like that. So if you, you know if you got epilepsy, please you know uh, fast forward the video. All right, all right. We got flashing purple, flashing cayenne, flashing yellow, flashing blue, flashing green, and flashing red. All right. Then we have pulsating green and blue. Let's see here. Then we got a pulsating red and blue. Another pulsating green and red. Let me hit these lights real quick. All right, that's a lot better. All right, these bad boys are bright. All right, let me change it to pulsating white, pulsating cayenne, pulsating yellow, pulsating blue. Let's go back to that uh, pulsating red and green. Going pulsating from red to green. I got it, now oh, there we go. I got it all the way up to the fastest speed. Let's go ahead and red and blue. That's pulsating red and blue. Pulsating green and blue. And rainbow, whoa, a flashing rainbow. Let me turn the speed down on here. Let me hit these lights real quick. And uh, go ahead and uh, finish out the video. All right, all right. So now you see we have uh, we have different uh, we have you know different has different scenes and all that good stuff. So if you want to you know spice up your your uh, your your gaming setup, or if you want to use them outside, me I'm gonna I'm gonna have them in the studio and kind of try to spice it up a little bit. All right. There's a couple more modes uh, we uh, they have on the app. They have this one uh, mode, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it or not, but uh, it's a mode called Shake. So when you shake your phone, it'll change colors. Check this out. Shake it, turn to blue, turn back to red, turn to green. Now, I'm, not, I'm not pushing anything. Change to green or yellow. Change to green. do it again then change it blue so let me change it back to red so that's that's pretty cool but you know that's I think it's more of a novelty or something you know uh, I probably won't be using that but you know that's 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 something different that's cool uh, and also it has a, a music mode where it goes in a you know the lights interact to the sound of the music it's two different ones There's one is one music mode on here that uh, it basically uses the music that's downloaded on your phone so if you're playing music on your phone, it, uh, it'll download, uh, let me cut these lights off. It'll go ahead and um, sync to the music that's on your phone. Then there's another one, it looks like it has a, uh, it looks like it's a recording thing on there. As you can see, it looks like it's recording. That's, that one looks like it's recording. And this is the one I was telling you about that uses the music, uses the music on your, uh, on your phone. And then this is the one that uses the microphone, right? So there's a lot of things. Oh, wait a minute. What's that, Skippy? You say TJ's here, and he want to show everybody how to work the music mode. Huh? All right. All right, TJ. You want to come over here and uh, take over? Go ahead and uh, show him how to work the music mode. All right, we're going to let uh, TJ come on here and uh, show y'all how to work the music mode. Because he says he got a new track of Epi Epidemic Sound he want to try to hear and see how uh, the lights uh, dance to the music, all right? All right, come on, come on, TJ.
We back. Let's give it up for our man TJ, old Teddy Jenkins. All right, all right, all right. Get on out of here, man. Get on out of here. That was our special guest for the day. But anyway, uh, what I forgot to mention uh, also, uh, when you have it in music mode, uh, you ha you have to keep your phone on because basically it's using your uh, microphone off your phone in order to have the light sync to the to the music. So you have because it's, it's Bluetooth. It's not working with Wi-Fi. It's it's Bluetooth connected. So. In order for the music mode to work, you have to have your phone on and next in, in a close area to it in order for the music mode to work. All right, all right. But overall, I mean, you're looking for you know a, a nice budget-friendly uh, set of RGB lights to either you know to spice up your your studio gaming setup or you know or you you know, you're gonna use them outside or whatever. You know, go ahead. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below where you can get these bad boys. All right. And if you want you know, detail, more detailed information or something I forgot, click on that link down in the description box and uh, so you can get more detailed information. Because like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just a regular consumer like everybody else. All right. All right. Like I said, uh, you know, look, this is, this is you know, pretty cool. You know, it ain't going to break the bank and it's nice and budget friendly. So, you know, it works. Only thing I wish it would, it would have was a longer cord. But other than that, you know, hey, it works. I still haven't decided where I'm gonna put them in the studio, but you know, I still got time on that. But anyway, if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell so you know if I have new videos. Tell a friend, tell a friend, you know, and I appreciate you guys taking out the time to check out the video. And uh, like I always say, treat people how you wanna be treated. Treat people better than you wanna be treated, all right? All right. Okay, the message for the day is hmm. Don't be afraid of success, all right? You know, I know a lot of people are probably afraid of success. They don't want to, you know, scared to try some dude, try to move on and trying to progress in life, you know, because, you know, they just, they're scared. You know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of success, you know? You know, also, you want to be successful, evaluate the people in your circle. If you still, if you run the, the people in your circle still doing the same old thing they were doing yesterday and the day before that and the, and the week before that, the month before that and the year before that, you know, you might want to go ahead and change up your circle, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you're around people that's doing the same old thing, all they want to do is hang out and party, I mean, what you expect? You, you ain't going to get nowhere, you know, because life is more, uh, it's about more than just hanging out and partying, all right? All right. If you, so if you want to be successful, you know, change change up your circle, you know. I ain't saying you got to cut everybody out, out of your life and nothing like that. I'm just saying, you know, change up your know, circle and start, you know, well, uh, going around and networking and being around uh, people who are trying to be successful and do something with your life, you know, right? and the people do who are in your circle that ain't doing anything, maybe, you know, once they see you doing something good, you know, maybe they might, they might uh, go ahead and try to progress themselves and might try to do, uh, do uh, get their life together, you know, who knows, and if they don't, they'll just slowly fade away, you know what I'm saying, but uh, if you want some other life, you want to try, you want to have something good, you want to have a successful life, you want to have a, you know, just have something in life and do something with yourself, you know, positive. Man, don't be afraid of success, you know, change up your circle. You know, you might want to go solo for a minute and then once you get your, evaluate yourself and with your plan, go ahead and move forward and then start networking, networking with people who are successful, right? 
That's message for today. I think it's somebody that needs to hear that. You know, God put that in my heart. And I just, that just, I think somebody needs to hear that. All right. So, you know, just something popped in my head and God wanted me to say that. So, you know, that's the message for the day. This has been your boy Mark for Little Screws and Views. Drop the mic and I'm out. Peace.